Well, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> we're working in the area of optical coherence tomography, which is a relatively new uh, imaging technology. It's analogous to ultrasound, except that it's using echo time delays of light. Uh, there are several clinical applications, uh, ranging from ophthalmology to intravascular imaging, endoscopy, as well as fundamental scientific applications such as developmental biology. Uh, perhaps the technology is most developed in ophthalmology, where it's uh, now accepted as a standard imaging modality. Uh, and in fact, there were over 15 million uh, procedures in ophthalmology in the US last year. Uh, our group works on advanced technology, uh, for example, next generation of imaging technology which can generate very large high resolution data sets. Here we see an example of a gigavoxel image of the retina. Uh, with this kind of data, you can extract <clears throat> any arbitrary cross-sectional image at any position. Uh, you can average images uh, so we get quite high resolution uh, images of retinal structure. It's also possible to look uh, in on FOSS projections, as you see here, through the different retinal layers, uh, going from the nerve fiber layer all the way down to the choroidal layer, which you see here, choroidal vascularization uh, deep in the choroid, and then going sectioning all the way down into the optic nerve head uh, here. Uh, so this type of uh, image has comprehensive uh, information on structure and uh, pathology. And I think one of the challenging problems for the future is to have methods that will uh, automate, uh, do an automated assessment of quantitative properties in the image. It's also possible to apply this technology <coughs> excuse me, to endoscopic imaging using fiber optic imaging probes. Here we see an example of an on FOSS view of the normal human colon. Uh, these types of images can be used to guide excisional biopsy or assess uh, treatment uh, endoscopic therapies. Again, from this image, we can extract arbitrary cross sections uh, as a function of depth in any position. We can enlarge sections of this image. Here we see the normal columnar epithelial structure, uh, different positions in this image. Uh, these are all gigavoxel images. Uh, and uh, actually, this shows a normal endoscopic view where you see the imaging probe and the surface view uh, of, of the uh, normal intestine. So uh, in general, we're very interested in working uh, with the collaborators both on technology as well as image processing. We work on ultra high speed, high resolution imaging technologies as well as uh, functional imaging, Doppler flow, neural activation, uh, applications ranging from fundamental science to ophthalmology, endoscopy, and radiology. And in particular, I think there's uh, some interesting opportunities for analysis of very large data sets, gigavoxel data, uh, applying methods that would be directly uh, used in MR and CT uh, to uh, quantitatively measure uh, these types of data sets. Uh, here's our contact information, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Tim. Thank you very much.